me to the water. Take me to the I got religion. I know I got religion. I know I got religion, and I feel good. But nothing but the right. I just nothing but. The righteous, nothing but the righteous, shall see God. Now take me to the water, take me to the water. saints. Praise the Lord, saints. Praise the Lord. To God be all glory. Amen. For we come in to recognize the first one of the ordinances of the church, and that is water baptism. We know that there is no saving power in the water, but we do this in demonstration of what God has already performed in the heart. So we go into this watery grave to be raised a new creature in Christ Jesus. By the profession of faith, by these, my dear sisters, may the first one come and make their way to the water. <laughs> Amen. To God be the glory. In obedience to the great head of the church, and by the profession of faith, by this, my dear sister, I baptize her in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. Amen. 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 As the next one comes, praise God. In obedience to the great head of the church, and by the profession of faith by this my dear sister, I baptize her in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. Take me to the water. Thank you. 
Good evening, even to those up front. Good evening. God is good, amen. amen. With the pastor's permission, I'm coming to you, 1 Corinthians 11, chapter 17th verse and fo uh, following verses, but I'm coming from the New Living Translation, amen. amen. But now, when I mention this next issue, I cannot praise you, for it sounds as if more harm than good is done when you meet together. First of all, I hear that there are divisions among you when you meet as a church, and to some extent, I believe it. But of course, there must be divisions among you so that those of you who are right will be recognized. It's not the Lord's Supper you are concerned about when you come together. For I am told that some of you hurry to eat your own meal without sharing with others. As a result, some go hungry while others get drunk. What? Is this really true? Don't you have your own homes for eating and drinking? Or do you really want to disgrace the church of God and shame the poor? What am I supposed to say about these things? Do you want me to praise you? Well, I certainly do not. But this is what the Lord himself said, and I pass it on to you just as I received it. On the night when he was betrayed, the Lord Jesus took a loaf of bread, and when he had given thanks, he broke it and said, This is my body which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. In the same way, he took a cup of wine after supper, saying, This cup is the new covenant between God and you, right. sealed by the shedding of my blood. Do this 
in remembrance of me as often as you drink it. For every time you eat this bread and drink this cup, you are announcing the Lord's death until he comes again. So if anyone eats this bread or drinks this cup of the Lord unworthily, that person is guilty of sinning against the body and the blood of the Lord. That is why you should examine yourselves before eating the bread and drinking from the cup. For if you eat the bread or drink the cup unworthily, not honoring the body of Christ, you are eating and drinking God's judgment upon yourself. That is why many of you are weak and sick, and some have even died. But if we examine ourselves, we will not examine we will not be examined by God and judged in this way. But when we are judged and disciplined by the Lord, we will not be condemned with the world. So, dear brothers and sisters, when you gather for the Lord's Supper, wait for each other. If you are really hungry, <coughs> eat at home, so you won't bring judgment upon yourselves when you meet together. The word has already been blessed. Amen. 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 At this time, we're going to take up an offering. If I could get a, a tray, please.
if I could get everybody in the annex to please stand and follow the direction of the usher, please. I can get everybody on my left to please stand Forever and follow the direction of the usher. Ever and ever for all you've done for me. I can get everybody in the middle aisle to please stand and follow the direction of the usher. Get everybody on my right to please stand and follow the direction of the usher. Let us pray. Gracious Father, how we say thank you for yet another opportunity to give back to you. We thank you for your glory today, Father. We thank you for all your many blessings. We thank you for the second watch of the day. Then, Father, I ask you bless the gift and the givers. In Jesus' name, I pray and ask it all. Amen. Amen. To God be the glory. Welcome back for our second watch. God bless you. Amen. We're not going to prolong the time too much longer. I'm going to ask to give me one short hymn, and then the next voice you will hear. Well, let me start, let me preface with this. This brother has been, uh, he's, he's been here for a little while now, and he joined us a little while ago, and we know him as Kendall Boulder. Amen. 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 Kendall came to us from St. John Baptist Church, where he was licensed under, under Bishop Norwood, thank you, Jerome Norwood is where he was licensed. Amen. So he is, up until this point, has not been an active minister here, but he's been a member here. Amen. And so I'm giving him an opportunity on tonight. Amen. 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 So I ask that you all pray with Kendall Amen. as he makes his way. After you all give us one more him, short him. Next voice you'll hear be that of, our, of Brother Kendall Boulder. Amen. Oh, 
time is filled with swift transition. I'm going to start with the first page. Praise the Lord. First, giving honor to God and thanking Pastor Underwood, the great Pastor Underwood, for the opportunity to preach the word this evening. And I am grateful for all of you that have came out and supported of me. Thank you. Let us pray. Father God, thank you for your word. Let it be you for your people. Remove all of me and let your word go forth. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. Here's the good part, y'all. Scripture will come from Psalm 100. Let us stand for the reading of the word. Everybody say hallelujah. Reply with an amen. When you find mine. Okay, where is he at? Where is he at? Shout for joy. Shout for joy. For joy to the Lord, all the earth. Worship the Lord with gladness. Come before him with joyful song. Know that the Lord is God. It is 
It is he who made us, and we are his. We are his people, the sheep of his pastors. Into his gates with thanksgiving, in his courts with praise. Give thanks to him and praise his name, for the Lord is good and his love endures forever. Faithfulness continued through all generations. My title is Make a Joyful Noise. When we think about making a joyful noise, we think of giving. Praise and worship to the Most High tells us that we should offer him praise in stanza. Make a joyful noise unto the Lord. Serve the Lord with gladness. Come before his presence with singing. Many of the psalm begin with similar statements. Similar, similar shows us why God deserves to be praised. The Lord is God. He has made us and not we ourselves. We are his people. In the sheep of his pasture, David resurrected the Lord in our shepherd. We learn from Psalm that God's people are to praise him with joy and gladness. It's in approval to God's people to give him thanks for he is good. Stanza, it states to enter into his gates with thanksgiving, and to be thankful unto him. Three main points in Psalm 100. A call for joy, praise, praise with all. Have in us. Know that God is the creator, and we are his people, and to enter his presence with thanksgiving, and to know his goodness. God is the one who has made us, and we belong to him. And in, I'm almost done. To him, and in conclusion, if real Holy Ghost worship was up in here, nobody would be able to do anything real. Worship comes from out of your belly, out of your heart, your soul, because he brought you out and you love him. Yeah. Let me explain the difference between praise and worship. Anybody can praise God. The Bible say, let everything that has breath praise the Lord. The Lord, we start praising God, thanking him for the things like shoes on our feet, a roof over my head, my finances. I know I'm preaching good. I'm in here. <laughs> my job and other things, all that is praise. But true worshipers thank God if he don't have no shoes, if he don't have money, if he don't have a job, a true worshiper says, I worship you because you are good and you mean just that much. I know I'm right. I know I'm right about it. To me. To me, I know that the Lord God is who made us, and we are his. We will forever enter his gate with thanksgiving and his court with praise and worship Jesus gave so much thanksgiving that he was crucified, buried, and resurrected for our sin. Make a joyful noise unto the Lord. Serve the Lord with gladness. Come before his presence with thanksgiving. Know that he is good. His mercy endured forever to all generations. I'm getting y'all out of here now. Let us play. God is good, ain't it? Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord unto our salvation. Make a joyful noise unto the Lord.
the church say amen. amen. You better make a joyful noise. Amen. He's been too good to us. The preacher told you he died for us. And he rose on that third day. To him be all glory. Kendall, you preach, sir. You preach, sir. Amen. Brothers, y'all know it. Preaching, go for him. Get up. Come on. <laughs> Come on. There might be somebody here that you heard what this brother said. You heard him today. We have a reason to praise ye the Lord. For the Lord is good. His mercy is everlasting. And his truth shall endure all generations. If there's one here, we invite you to come and join the Greater Liberty Baptist Church family. That's good for us. And we will invite you and we will accept you just as you are. But more importantly, to join the family of God. To join the family of God. We invite you today. It's good to know him. It's good to know him. For he is the sweetest name I know. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Ezekiel said it tasted like honeycomb in my mouth. Praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. To him be the glory. Amen. At this time, let us prepare to go to the Lord's table. Amen. We ask those who are joining us over the live feed that you will get your elements together. That you will get your elements together. We ask that you get some type of unleavened bread or cracker. We ask that you get you a, preferably a red wine. But if you don't have a red wine, then your juice would suffice, a red juice, grape juice preferably, or water. As I say often, you can't have Gatorade and Dr. Pepper and Pepsi. Don't, don't dishonor God's table. It's not a plaything. It's a serious and sacred moment. Pray that the God will, that the Lord will prepare our hearts and our minds to partake of His table. Thank God for His goodness and His mercy. Is anybody thankful to be saved today? That God did not leave us to our reprobate minds but that he came to us right where we was. When we wasn't looking for him, ain't that something? He was out looking for you. Drawing you in all this time. Stop the music, stop the music, stop the music. Drawing you in to the sheepfold. It's because he lives. It's because he lives that we have a right to the tree of life. It ain't because of a choice you made. It ain't because of the church you belong to. It's because of the grace of God. It's because the blood of the lamb that was slain before the foundation of the world Recall John asking the question, who is fit to loosen the seals? And they was looking and they couldn't find no one who was worthy. And then came one of the elders and said, don't worry. There is one who is worthy to loosen the seals on the book. And beloved, his name is Jesus. He's the reason we come. He's the reason we serve. He's the reason that we come together as one body of believers. It's because of Christ. 
So we come to this table as in covenant relationship with our God. Amen. Remember, this is the reason we no longer have or recognize Passover. We no longer have Passover because we come to the Lord's table. He is our Passover lamb. He is our Passover lamb. Passover is no longer needed. We no longer do circumcision because circumcision represented circumcision of the heart. It represented circumcision of the heart. So anytime the heart is cut, it dies. That's why we go to water baptism. Water baptism took the place of what circumcision was. I don't want y'all to act like I don't teach y'all when you go somewhere. Okay? It's a reason we no longer do Passover. It's a reason that circumcision is no longer in order. We are under the covenant of grace. Under the dispensation of grace. No longer under the dispensation of the law. So we go to the water and we come to the table. Amen. 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 Deacon Marlin, I'm going to ask you if you will come and if you will bless this bread. And Deacon Crowley, I'm going to ask you to come and bless this cup behind him. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, thank you for this day. Thank you for this opportunity to come into your house and to thank go before you, your table, Heavenly Father. I thank you for everyone here. I uh, pray that you will continue to bless us. pray that you will continue to guide and lead us, Heavenly yeah. Father. As for this bread, as it sits here in this carnal use, Heavenly Father, I pray that you would touch it, breathe on it, and bless it to a spiritual use so that it is pleasing in your sight and that you get the glory. In Jesus' name, I say these things. Amen. 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 Precious Lord, we want to thank you for the sacrifice that you decided to make on that on that hill called Golgotha. Thank, thank you for you keeping Lord. us, Father. For, and as we come to you in the remembrance of your death, burial, and resurrection, yeah. thank you, Father. May we turn this wine from a spirit from a carnal use to a spiritual use. Yeah. In Jesus' name, we ask it, ask it all. Amen. 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 Come on, brother. The blood. That Jesus shed for me.
that gives me strength from day to day, from day to day. They pierced him in his side. They pierced him in his side. They pierced him in his side. For oh, one day when I, yo, I was lost and he died. And I know Uh, he hung his head and died. Uh, he hung his head and died. He hung it. Mm, one day when I was lost, he died upon the cross. He's coming back again. He's coming back again. He's coming for me. One day when I, oh, he died. He died upon the cross, and I know. I know it was the blood. I know it was the blood. I know it was the blood. Mm, one day when I was lost, he died upon the cross. And I know it was the blood for me. I'm seeing. Glory to his name. 
precious name. Glory to there to my heart was the blood applied. Glory to I'm singing glory, a precious name. To Jesus I surrender all to him I freely give to I will ever love and trust. my bad deacon. It's the Lord's broken body and his spilt blood. Amen. Is there anyone else that we may have missed who had a desire to be served? I want to make sure we didn't miss you. Praise God. Amen. That night that Jesus was to be betrayed, the Bible said he took the bread and he blessed it and he broke it. He said, take, eat, for this is my body, which is broken for you. That same night after they had supped, after the same manner, he took the cup and said, drink ye all of this, for this is the New Testament in my blood. Let us drink together. Amen. Praise God. We have these candidates Thank God that the purpose of the church is not for nothing, but that God's spirit and his purpose is still very active and very impactful to a dark world. For our God is still in the business of saving souls, amen? If he wasn't, 
it's my belief he would have came on back and taken us home. Because <laughs> what else would we still be around here for? Amen. 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 We have here Sister Mackenzie Nicole Amen. Pass. Amen. Amen. We have here your certificate of baptism. This is the one that really matters. <laughs> This certifies that Mackenzie Nicole Pass was baptized in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit on the 6th day of October 2024 at Greater Liberty Missionary Baptist Church, Lexington, Kentucky. Elder Marcus Underwood, your pastor. We also got your certificate for completing the class, and we got some more information in here for you as well. God bless you, and here's this Bible that we are presenting to you. May it be a lamp unto your feet and a light unto your path. God bless you, darling. You still have it. It's an A, not a C. I think it's A. Yeah, don't blame the pastor. I didn't know. <laughs> yeah, Mackenzie ain't shy. I learned that in class. I learned that. Hey, Amen. <laughs> <laughs> Amen. <laughs> sister Shemaya Kimball. Amen. God bless you, my sister. We have here a certificate of baptism that certifies that Shemaya Genesis, is that right? Kimball was baptized in the name of the Father and the Son of the Holy Spirit on the sixth day of October 2024, Greater Liberty Missionary Baptist Church, Lexington, Kentucky. Well, Elder Marcus Underwood Sr. is your pastor. And of course, also, we have some additional information and a certificate for completing our new members class. And we present to you this Bible as well. May it be a lamp unto your feet and a light unto your path. Thank you. God bless you, my sister. Welcome. Thank you. Welcome. Amen. Now, Sister Faith Washington, I don't know how. We missed you back in November, was it? What was your original? June of 23? You know what? We're going to blame Emmanuel Young. That's what we going to. Because he ain't here. She completed the class, and somehow she snuck through the cracks, and we never gave her her certificate or fellowshiped her in or extended the right hand. to I don't know how that happened. Like I said, I'm blaming him, man, and he ain't here to defend himself, so I can do that. So, but no, God bless you. I mean, since then, we've, her husband has came and joined the church, and he was, I baptized him. We did him right, and she was like, I didn't get all that. <laughs> she said, why'd you get special treatment? But God bless you, my sister. Welcome, welcome, welcome. And here's your certificate officially. God bless you. Amen. To God be the glory. Darn, I'm good. God bless you. On the inside. We Hold on, that's a good Bible. Ain't nothing wrong with that Bible. Amen. God bless you. I pray that you've been blessed tonight. God bless you for coming. God bless you for supporting the ministers of this church. Amen. Amen. We are excited on next month. We are, if the Lord say so, we'll have three more candidates to take to the water that came this morning. The Lord continues to do a great thing among us. Amen. Amen. Standing all over the building. God bless you. God keep you. May his countenance continue to shine upon you. May the Lord be gracious unto you and give you peace. Consider yourselves dismissed. Amen.